Hey everyone, Symbiote here, and welcome to part two of Let's Play The Sims 3 Asylum Challenge. Um, what we have here is Judy is about to get up and start her day, and as you can see, Bart here has not been able to sleep in a bed, so he's coming up to take advantage of one of the newly um, vacated places to sleep, except is he going to nap? Yeah, he's probably just going to nap or relax. Ah, Roosevelt arguing with himself... Joseph is sleeping. Um, oh, I can't remember her name. I'll get it. Leanne is sleeping. Ernesto is coming up to try to get some sleep, probably. Um, now I'm going to have her... When she wakes up, I'm just going to immediately have her jump in the shower. Oh, somebody cleaned the toilet. That was nice. That was nice of them. She has a want to go to the festival, but that's... That's just not going to happen. Um, I'm going to have her... Hmm. This place is a mess. I'm going to have her eat a quick meal of... Um, hmm. Let's just say bread and jam. And you know what? They keep... I had this house for, for another thing, which is why where there were... Um, where there was a, a microwave, I think it's upstairs, yeah, where there's a microwave up here, I had, I had that for a reason, um, but they keep getting confused, so I'm just going to, actually I'm going to put that into family storage so that they don't make any money from it, um, there we go. So now there won't be any confusion, they won't keep bringing, um, hot dogs up here to microwave, they can't have a microwave meal, there we go. I'm gonna have her get, uh, <coughs> excuse me, get ready to go to work, and maybe she can work on her athletic or hang out with somebody. We'll have to see. I actually filmed, um, filmed this part once before, and if you'll notice, I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. There we go. If you'll notice, the um, yeah, that's better. The computer and desk are gone. The Sims can't seem to handle the responsibility of having them. Uh, so, even though it was funny because Bart sets a scary computer trap, at the same time, it was bad because huge swaths of um, of my recording were completely drowned out by the sound of the computer games because as, as I'm sure you know if you play uh, that's they're very very loud so yes that's why they no longer have um, have that oh she's gonna practice dunking in her bathing suit that's okay she's gonna get her athletic up before she goes to work and then she should be pretty close to a promotion this means she's not going to be able to work from home, and we have other Sims who like to work from home. Sorry, my camera's doing something weird. Um, who like to work from home as well. They're not going to be able to do that. Uh, so we'll just have to see what happens. Um, <laughs> Monica seems to be having some trouble here with the routing on these trees. There's actually nothing wrong with them. She seemed to be okay with it yesterday, so hopefully she doesn't do this until she, like, dies. Um, I may have to reset her. <laughs> um. <laughs> you were almost free of it, Monica. You were almost free. Get it together, girl. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, she's sore. Okay, what's everybody else up to? Well, they're all just trying to eat, do their thing. Um, I don't know. I may have my sim work on her cooking skill and make some meals in advance. Um, Judy Guidry just became strong. She won't forget the day that all that working out paid off. She wants to go to Egypt. <laughs> no, not right now. That's not going to happen yet. Okay, um... I'm a little nervous to go talk to her because hmm, can I call her over? Hmm. 
I don't want to go over there because I don't want to route improperly. But, um, you know what? We're gonna have to do that. Come on. See if we can break her out of this. Yeah, actually, in the last part, she was doing all the gardening and she was doing fine with it. Didn't get stuck at all, so it must just be a routing mishap or something. Because these plants work fine. Leanne is working on her piano skill. She's at least being productive. She hasn't appeared to steal anything yet. Oh, they're listening, which is nice. They're all hanging out, commiserating a little bit. That's good. Okay, we seem to be alright. Okay, she's talking madness at her. Well, apparently... Oh, she liked that. Um, this is about new stat new house. May as well make some friends. Friendly, ask about day. What are the special interactions? Insane. Talk about conspiracies. Um, catch anything. Yeah, she could, you know, she could stand to have a friend here. We're not going to group up, though. What's everybody else doing? Oh, they're sitting together, eating. That's nice. Somebody made waffles! Yay! Joseph made waffles. Somebody better put away said waffles. Because I don't want to lose money. In the last part, they were also all continuously making food. And it was costing a fortune. So, yeah. Okay. Now, do we have a chance? What do we have? Um, rim wrecker. What happens when an unstoppable force meets an and meets a movable? Jeez. Wow. Okay. What happens when an unstoppable force meets a movable object? Apparently, you shatter the backboard. Well done. So sh she's doing well with her basketball, and she seems to enjoy. And I think she can go to the bathroom at work. So. I'm actually not too worried. Um, she has to go to work in three hours, but I'd like for her to complete... Uh, yeah, I'd like for her to um, level up before she goes. So, the ultimate goal here is this. The only way she can leave this place is if she meets her lifetime wish. You can do a variant where it's once they make 50,000 simoleons, but... Um, I actually, I like the challenge it's going to be. Oh, shit. Sorry. I clicked on her. I didn't mean to. I'll get, I'll get the hang of it. It's just, it's such a habit. Um, as soon as you see something's wrong with one of your sims, you're like, oh, God, I gotta help them. Um, okay, so her, her athletic skill went up, and it is 90 degrees out here, so she's gonna freaking die if she's standing out here in the heat. Is that a thing with insane sims? If they dress inappropriately, they can actually die? I'm assuming so. <sighs> um, yeah. So, okay. The only way she can leave is if she succeeds in meeting her lifetime wish. Her lifetime wish is to become a superstar athlete, meaning she needs to make it to level 9 of the athletic career track. Rule-wise, they can invite people over, but they can't actually go to someone else's house. She can leave the house if she's going to go to the bookstore or the grocery store or go to work, and that is absolutely it. There's another variant you can do where you can um, have your... Yes, where you can have your sim stay in the house all the time, like never leave the lot whatsoever. Um and have someone else go out and buy all the groceries and books, and that that leads to the stir-crazy moodlet. I don't think we're going to be doing that um, <laughs> at this point. And I could have her work from home, but I don't think I'm going to do that either. Now let's see if they're going to try to get into the pool. Because somebody at one point got into the pool. And it looked like he got out just fine. She wants to cool down. Well, when you get into work, you probably will cool down. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize. 
I'm going to hang out with her team members because she's probably going to have to make friends soon. And let's just see what everybody's doing. Joseph is hanging out. He obviously wants to shower, but Monica is in here checking herself out. Oh, apparently she doesn't like herself. She's heckling herself in the mirror. I don't think that, uh, I think Joseph is just too dirty to worry about Monica being in here because he apparently doesn't care. So that's okay. We're going to get away because when they sing, it's always very loud. Um, Bart appears to be going upstairs. Somebody thinks she's hot. Okay, Judy Gidry just went to work for the first time. I think somebody... Yes, she met... Her wish was met to cool down. So, Sharla and Joseph are not getting along right now. They they have... They keep... The, the notification that they're attracted to each other keeps coming up, but they argue a lot. So, we'll have to see. It could be one of those opposites attract, you know, sexual tension things. We'll have to see like an episode of Moonlighting. Oh boy, wow, that dated me. Okay, um... Now they are arguing. Maybe Joseph just has difficulty communicating with people. He's gonna try oh, he's arguing with himself. Okay, well he wasn't satisfied with how the argument was going with Joseph, so he's arguing with himself. Oh boy, look at that toilet. That is horrifying. That is really horrifying. <laughs> really, really gross. Okay, what's everybody else doing? We'll just kind of scoot through it and see what everybody else does. He's still arguing with himself. Joseph is going back to continue arguing with Roosevelt. Leanne is currently arguing with herself. Come on. Let's see. Okay, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna be nice to her? No, he's just... Yeah, he's just being unpleasant to everyone. Today wasn't the greatest day for Judy. It was a fan day at the stadium, and with all the fans touring the field in the locker room, it was very hard to get good practice in. This day caused Judy a lot of stress. Oh, boy. She seems to be okay, though. Alright. Oh, thank you, Monica. Monica's going in and cleaning the toilet. That was... Well, she was supposed to clean the toilet. It looked like she was actually going to clean the toilet. But I guess that didn't pan out. One of you clean the freaking toilet. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright, when she gets home, I'm gonna have her serve dinner. Mac and cheese. And then she's gonna eat and immediately go upstairs to claim a bed because she will have to work tomorrow. Yes. So far, this is going better for The Sims than it did last time because when I in the part that I filmed last time that I had to erase, um, they I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Uh, three other Sims wet their pants. It was I don't know. It's a sign of the times. <laughs> they can't seem to help themselves. They pee themselves, like, constantly. So, yeah. They seem to be doing a little bit better this time. Alright, now everybody's starting to get tired, so I really need to... Oh, actually, yeah. You know what? This will work out perfectly. She can make it, and then put it away, and then go up and snag a bed. That's essentially what this is going to be about. This, this little, it's not necessarily an LP per se, but this, this series is going to be about the challenge of getting Judy out of this situation. Alright, put this away. Put away leftovers and go on up and snag a bed. Another nice little thing would be, let's see how many nights in a row we can get her the same bed. That'd be cool. Alright, 
don't know. It's the little things in life. Okay, so she's going to sleep in her everyday wear. Okay. So, yeah. We're all set up. Um, and uh, we'll come back next video when she is um, going to her second day of work. Ernesto's out here. They keep coming out here to hang out in the barn. There's like a plate down in there. I don't know. There's a bowl. I'm not sure what's up, but lovely. Okay. Perfect. But, you know, these poor Sims, bless, they, they're they doing what they've been ordered to do, and they're trying to get along while they do it. So yes, our goal will be to get Judy out of the situation. It's going to be a task, and we'll just have to see what happens along the way. Like I said, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time, and just be well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are so inclined, and I will see you later. Thank you. Bye.